one day and I looked down and there was this ball of gray fluff right by the goats. And the goats are looking down like, what is that? He hung around for a couple weeks and he never left. We couldn't get close to him, but he would not leave the boys. So we named him Gigi for gray goat. Since then, Gigi has not left their side. He loves those goats. We brought the Ginger Twins, Fletcher and Yoshi, home about two weeks after Gigi showed up. Everywhere those goats went, they'd be jumping around playing, and all of a sudden, Gigi would just jump at them. When they're napping, Gigi's napping with them. When they're playing, Gigi's playing with them. When they're eating, Gigi's right in the hay with them. Because they were so close, as far as being young and playful, they have just formed a bond that is awesome. When I wake up, Gigi walks to the top of the steps and I'll sit there. We go to the enclosure, open it up. Here, baby, you can't go through there anymore. You can through here. And then he followed the goats right to their feeder. Go see your boys. He spends the day with them. Gigi started mimicking what the goats would do. When the ginger twins pull off the bark from the trees, Gigi will be sitting right next to them, chewing on the wood of the tree. How the cat will stalk and then sneak up on them, the boys have started to do that. They're learning from each other and becoming the same. It's like he's a goat. He hates coming inside at night. So I'm working on my videos and someone heard the goat cries in the audio and came up here and he got tired and fell asleep. We got another cat so he would have somebody to play with. <laughs> he loves you so much. He's the most loving cat. Gigi chose us to be his family. <laughs>